Are you familiar with Chumbox ads? They are the ads that are at the bottom of a lot of news sites that look like thumbnails all gridded together with really clickbaity titles and pictures that don't make any sense like dentist hate you for knowing this guy or this secret of the food industry will change your life like these ridiculous stuff uh, you know eat a brownie up your rectum and live to 100 years and the picture will make no sense for what it is well I think I found the VR version of this where VR devs hate this guy now in all seriousness I've been seeing a lot of tweets from this one account flat to VR and uh, by the way DM them uh, or her a fantastic person definitely go follow them they're sharing a lot of great stuff and I passed up on their tweets for a while and eventually I just saw the name so much that I researched a little into it and what I found even made my wife interested like she thought it was really interesting tech and that's the whole point of this video is to share with you what's going on you may have heard about it but it's just one of those things that you go wow that's uh that's really cool and this could turn into a big deal and I think this might surprise you now the man doing this fine XR work is Prey Dog, and he's really releasing soon TBD some really interesting XR tech and I want you to watch this first uh, and then I'll bring you to the story on what you're seeing and why I think it's just cool to look at and talk about. So this all started with the new Java Man. Gabriel Pizarro and Prey Dog has been continuing the work that the new Java Man started by porting much of the Resident Evil engine framework to Unreal Engine even if the game doesn't have VR support, and I think that's kind of important here. Basically, a universal Unreal Engine VR injector has been created. So, so hear me out. What this is, is that when this goes live, modders can take it, they can inject it into any game, for the most part, that supports Unreal Engine, and basically give it six degrees of freedom VR support. Uh, obviously, you would need a gamepad or a controller for now. We'll talk about that more. But you would have six degrees of freedom in any Unreal Engine supported game. Do you understand the implications of that? Like, that's just mind boggling cool tech to talk about. Yes, you will have to do some tweaking, but you actually will have to do minimal tweaking with this uh, injection, basically. You can inject it, and with some slight tweaking, it's not even that hard. You get that six degrees of freedom VR support for some amazing titles. I mean, the list of games that it's possible here really is stunning. I mean, you have things like just off the top of this list, like Ghost Runner. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, the Gears of War series, uh, Kingdom Hearts. This is really, really impressive tech. Every now and then, there's like hardware, like there's clear cut tech or clear cut software. It could be software, like there's clear cut times where something comes and it's a really big deal and changes everything. Like I know I just made the comment the other day that PSVR 2 launching is not going to change VR tomorrow. It's it's a incremental stepping stone in the right direction. And I appreciate everything that Sony's doing because they are helping move VR in the right direction. But every now and then there's sometimes tech that is a good leap for like when the Quest originally launched, Quest 1, going from always needing wires to a all-in-one extremely cheap standalone unit, that does radically change things pretty quickly, right? And when I see things like this, this is PCVR's kind of equivalent at this point. Uh, with relative ease, we could have six degrees of freedom, really good VR ports. And speaking with flat to VR to better understand this, uh, I do want to reach out to Prey Dog at a later time, but I did reach out to flat to VR uh, in DMs to kind of understand this better. And it's entirely possible, and they're already working on it like Mothership Forge with full motion uh, support as well. Uh, and piece of VR to me, this is just a, a needed leg. And I make that joke in the opening title of like VR devs hate this guy because. Deving for VR is extremely difficult. Anyone who works in VR knows how extremely difficult it is. And things like this just bring that stepping stone a little down. It's a little more tangible. Someone who doesn't have millions of dollars in the bank because VR games are so expensive to make can relatively make something awesome. And these are experiences that we can enjoy. Is it going to radically change everything? Absolutely not. But there's very few times where my wife sees that I'm interested in something and I tell her about what that is and she gets equally excited and, and interested in that. That's pretty mind-boggling to me, and uh, I just want to speak of this. If you haven't been paying attention, I'll put some links in the description for what this is. I don't know when it's going to launch. It's launching at a TBD date, but I came across this article. Uh, moral of the story here is if you see something, uh, people passionate on social media platforms, if you can tell from their posts that they seem very 
persistent in some type of fact or very persistent in something they're advocating for like give it a watch it could be bullshit but in this case like flat to vr like thank you for putting your tweets so much in my face because uh i'm better off knowing this i'm excited for the future uh, of this plugin and to see how it works and uh that's it so links will be in the video description this was a quick one see you next time space cowboys peace